Hello Twitcher and uh, welcome to my tutorial for making a background for your Twitch account. You may have already seen accounts around with uh, some cool designs to it. So I'm first of all showing this example of Turnar. Uh, when you go into this specifically account you can see that they have made a picture here that illustrates Thoranor here on the left side and Berlin on the right side. However, when I start to scroll down, you will see that I have put some pictures in the info panel, uh, which leads to when you scroll down, the pictures disappear. So I'm also going through that in another video on how to make this looking better and also on how to adjust this. When it comes to the background itself, um, you can pretty much use anything you like. Um, however, I would recommend that you go into Google and search up texture like this and press enter. Um, you can either click picture here on the left side or picture here, doesn't really matter. And like we saw on the Turner. Um, I would highly recommend that you also go for a picture that are easily scrollable. I'm just going to pick um, something here just to illustrate like this one. Like this, this isn't really repeatable, right? So I'm going back. Right, this looks kind of okay. So when you found your picture, you click here on the right side, picture in full size, it will save for you. And you click it. And then you can right click the picture and save picture as. And just click save. Uh, my default is on desktop. So if I minimize here, you see here. I have also on my desktop pre-made a folder called Twitch. Just showing you swiftly now. Um, so when you have done all that, you can start the design actually. Um, I have pre-made this link and it will be linked in the description of my YouTube channel so make sure to check it out. I'm just going to press enter on this link and it will download and I will open it. And it open up in Adobe Photoshop automatically. Like this. And then we have found ourselves a template. However, when you do open it, I will recommend that you take off the center here. Sorry, the top. Of course, the top. And now I will include, just open. And we did save this to uh, the desktop. So there it is. I'm clicking here again. And I uh, left click, I hold it in and drag it in so it becomes like this. I hold down CTRL and press A, which automatically selects everything. And I press C, and I press on the black thing here, and I press hold down CTRL and press V. Then we have successfully merged this one with the template. If I now hide the layer 1, you will see that it should be, um, let's see, there, it should be here. I'm clicking the moving tool and just place it like this. And now I enable the center part again. And I hold down CTRL and press T, which enables this. And I drag it, hold down shift. And I drag it up, keep holding on shift, 
drag it down and I drag it out like this and I press the mover tool and I apply now we click new make sure <coughs> the resolution here is no more than 72 and transparent press ok and I'm going to type something this can be pretty much everything of course I'm just going to center it like that let's see apply a bit more hold down CTRL T alright apply and of course if you if you want to mess around with the fonts etc that's highly up to you and um, <coughs> sorry oops there we go and I press 3D just to mess around a bit with it there we go and the lightning I want somehow no there we go I think looks good. I hold down CTRL, press A, and then C, go into my background, hold down CTRL and press V. I make sure I have the mover tool, I move it up there, enable the center again hold down CTRL and press T hold in shift and this is center so that's good I can now apply hold down CTRL press A again no sorry on this one, hold down CTRL, press A and C, go in here, hold down CTRL and press V disable the center part and move it over here enable the center part hold down CTRL plus T just to move it like this and move it like this and I apply the changes first and I hold down CTRL and hold, uh, ALT and press T go I delete that layer select that layer go now it's the same 
I'll just enable the center again. I position it like this. Right, and I go to file and I save this as Of course it should be in my desktop. There you go. <clears throat> Save changes. Profile updated. It has su successfully applied our stuff and when I scroll down it also automatically will repeat. If I uh, click the info you'll see how it won't do that and we can also zoom in, zoom out, all that and it automatically adjusts successfully. So uh, good luck with your design and follow my stream and also my um, YouTube. Good luck, Raspblade signing out.